Hello guys and welcome back to another episode here on the VentureCraft Survival Server. This is Rascal speaking and I set myself a challenge. Let's see how long will it take to get this whole thing down. I mean, I have a decent shovel, it's efficiency 5, I mean, it should be around mm, maybe 3, 5, 3 to 5 minutes. Let's see, let's see, shall we? Well, it turns out it took me exactly 5 minutes to fill out my inventory with all this sand and sandstone. Why do I need those, you ask? Well, I'm gonna use this super smelter <laughs> that we built in the last episode and I will smelt it into glass. I need that glass for the decoration and I'm gonna use this sandstone to decorate the inside of my future base. So I'm just gonna let this run brown. Uh huh. Is it filled with coal? Yes, it is. Good. I'm just gonna leave this here for now and come back later for it. What I had in mind was expanding those circular builds in my base. Oh, hello. How are you? I, I, I mean, this is like really, really infested with the mobs and everything. I should consider lighting up the surrounding area where I move around too often. I'm gonna start with shaping it, uh, this this base and everything. So I will have to <laughs> I will have to take care of the items in these chests. I mean, there's not a lot of chests, but they're full. <laughs> I mean. Even this and this and that one and this one and this one. <laughs> They're all filled with everything. Um, and I was thinking about this uh, area above the beacon. And I had a crazy idea. But <clears throat> there's something there's something that has to be done before I start working on, on this middle section here. Hmm... Hmm. 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 <laughs> okay, enough of that. But I mean, I like this extension here. And it is looking good. It is looking like it's a part of something bigger. I just need to make it look more natural on the on on the outer side. I mean, the inside is looking amazing but the outer side is it's kind of missing the spine the structure so i have to i'm gonna have to deal with that part but with this inside part i mean i really really nailed it this time i guess that creepers want me to speed out the process of removing this ugly shack i mean he literally just flew down here and exploded taking away half of my house <laughs> okay, I get the message. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting on with it. What a sad moment. It's even raining. <laughs> so, I guess 
I guess I could say that I'm officially moved out of my first original house in this series. Everything is cleared out um, when it comes to house and chest and things. I've uh, placed them down there and I have to light this area up because creepers kept falling on me. <laughs> they almost blew all my things away. Guess I was lucky there. Um, also, I believe that I will remove this staircase as well and create some kind of grand entrance on this side. I'm going to use this uh, passage as an entrance to this first level and yeah I think I'm gonna extend these stairs all the way down or no I ran out of oh man I'm gonna have to go all the way down no 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 don't kick me off Oh, please, just die. Ah, oh, these baby zombies. Really? Where did you come from? No, creeper, no. Enough. You helped me already blow my house away. Where are you coming from? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Whoa. That's a lot of zombies. They, they're still coming. Is it like a, a spawner or something? Oh, seriously? You set me on fire. The lag on this server will kill me alone. <laughs> The server does not need the help from the zombies to kill me. I mean, the lag, the lag is sufficient. What? What? I just killed an army of things. Where did you come from? Oh, this is insane. I mean, my base has turned into an infestation. Look at them! They're everywhere! I just still like... I think I killed like 15 creepers, 35 skeletons in this area! And look at this! On this side, there is no end to them! They just keep coming! Look at this guy! He's walking on the sunlight and he's not burning! He's like OP skeleton! I've never seen something like this... Ever! This worked out even better than I... I would like to admit it. Uh, I was honestly a bit afraid that whole, this whole tur turning, curving the stairs is going to be an awful idea, but it turned out to be quite, quite a good one. And from the start, I was thinking of extending this on this part of the mountain and leading it upwards. But I I think I'm going to give up on that idea. And I'm going to do something else with, with this side of the, uh, of the mountain. Hmm. Ooh, let's try this. Arrow. Dang it. I was late. <laughs> uh, so, um, hmm. Should I build a piston door here? Should I? While I figure out what I'm going to do with this door, I'm just going to clear this mess out. Oh, whoa, whoa, baby. Too powerful. And... Tuk -tuk -tuk -tuk, probably something like this. Extend it on this side. Put it down here. That looks too much. Let's do it like so. And maybe one here as well. Now let's take a look. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now it's looking nice. Did I? Oh, 
I placed something wrong. Oh, this 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 is wrong. Okay. <laughs> oh, I over <laughs> I thought for a second that I I'm gonna have to tear everything down on this side. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Thinking in progress. What can I do to make this look a little bit better? Remove this for a start. I guess. <laughs> This is kind of in my face here. So let's repeat that same pattern there that we used. Uh, we, will, we will create some kind of fake appearance that something is holding. I mean, that this fence here is holding this uh, massive land from falling down like that okay let's place this here um, I'm gonna need some kind of pillar to trick the viewer's eye like that and the same on the other side but I've already used all of that okay let's see what else do I have Actually, you know what? I could pretend that this tree, and I'm going to extend it all the way down, is being like a support pillar here, serving the purpose of a support pillar, and is holding all of this. Oh, let's go down here a little bit. Oh, that's looking nice. Grow, 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 grow. Yes. <laughs> grow, 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 grow. Yes. Okay, I'm satisfied. That's it. Uh, so I'm just going to have to put the acacia log here. And on the other side as well. So, how many logs do I need? One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if we can find some tree that needs chopping down. I was thinking about it. I'm going to have to... <laughs> I'm going to have to fill in everything here with fences to create that kind of you know trick that they're holding this dirt and then I'm gonna have to extend it again like this and um, after that okay let's just fill this in now and let's fill this and after that I'm going to have to fall down <laughs> Okay, let's see. Get me somewhere good. Okay, perfect. Now, um, what was I saying? Okay, uh, yeah. I will have to put them here. On top again. Maybe not so much. And then like this so that creatures can't get inside from the outside and it's gonna narrow the circle a little bit but it's gonna be fine I'm gonna use a lot of these okay oh boy few hours later this is what it looks like <laughs> so I've placed fences all around so they can hold this dirt in place and I've extended it a little bit upwards so that zombies and creepers and spiders and whatnot cannot fall from this point downward and I've decorated pillars a little bit placing buttons uh, underneath and it's it's 
a good feature, I guess. We, it's like a small detail. And also to prevent the spawn on the uh, the top of the pillar, I've placed a brown carpet so it matches the color. I mean the tone of this fence and everything that's going on around here. So uh, the next phase is, as you can see, I've started digging these holes so I can see how much space I'm working with here. So I was... Uh, working on this side as well and on this side here and hmm, I was thinking of some kind of piston door and I don't want for this hole to open all the way so I'm gonna go with something like three wide and two upwards for example if we have this here and three slabs on top of it uh, where's my axe? Okay. Axing it away. Nice. Oh, I'm flying with this pickaxe. I'm still not used to using it with the um, the beacon. Okay, let's make some room here. So, what I was thinking, uh, repeaters for all of them. Let's fill this in. Okay. Uh, I need some uh, redstone dust here. Maybe something like this. And a lever here. Now, let's try it out. Okay. So, let me just fill this out. Mm, not like that. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's close it. Okay, so this is this is the look that I'm gonna go with. Doors are really looking amazing, and I like this little switch that you can go through, and then you can go through. But in between episodes, I stop by in the end searching for shulker boxes and whatnot and then i realized i didn't have any of these even though i had like two or three trips to the uh to the end so i had to grab a few of those and to grow my own uh, farm of chorus plant right uh to grow some kind of chorus fruit and these chorus plants so i mean a little by little i grew a bunch of those and the process is going well but I'm going to place them in these hubs here and I'm gonna dig them out and I already started digging that one up there and this one over here why I did that because one two three are the entrances on the different level because I'm gonna remove this pillar here that I've crafted so here here there there, there, and here, also these three as well, they're gonna be some kind of farms. I'm going to store maybe villagers inside, maybe a, a cow a farm, sheep farm, a chicken farm, mm, this one could be for villagers, uh, maybe villager breeder here and the villager trading center here, but then it leaves me one, two, and three uh, different chambers for some other projects and I was thinking of maybe creating some kind of a farm with the villager inside but then I realized that it's too close to the villager breeder that I plan on placing in this hole here so they're going to clash with each other the numbers so the uh, the breeder will produce less than expected so I was thinking maybe producing um, melon and pumpkin in this chamber and in the in the middle chamber I'm going to have like a storage system for that and it's going to be automatic uh, meaning I'm going to use a minecart with rails going in circles and collecting those so this is going to be a farm and this is going to be a storage system for those two 
and then I can use them to trade with my villagers. So maybe this is going to be a villager uh, farm. This is going to be a villager trading center, and this is going to be a storage for the uh, transactional units. So something will be here, and something will be here. Some kind of hmm, nether vault. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nether vault farm here, and chorus plant here. I've just realized that I've ran out of recording time for today's episode. So, <laughs> I think we will continue in the next one. And we will see what we can do with those chambers. And, hmm, in the meantime, maybe I should go and hunt for some animals and see what I can find. Ooh, let me check this for a little bit. I've planted some mushrooms here. So let me check. Ooh, yeah, they've spread it. They spread it. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna leave one. <laughs> I don't know how to make this efficient enough. So yeah, thanks again for watching my episodes. If you really like them, make sure to hit that like button because it will really help. <laughs> and you know, my self-esteem as well. <laughs> so thank you guys and see you in the next one.